previously on The Rock Critic. There's one more really big change that I've been meaning to make for a long time. No space Mormon is going to take away my space weed in this space war. They don't even like space caffeine, which is the best kind of caffeine. They're too busy wearing their space underwear. Cheers. Still not enough. We need something else. I like buttons. 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 Give me lots of buttons. Give me that fat back patch. Sewing is hard. Yeah, I think I'm officially feeling this. Yeah. Actually, the uh, the costume's supposed to have lots of like band patches sewn into it all across the front. But USPS seems to think I live in Baltimore for some reason. Baltimore. Ba goddamn shipping. That's the reason this video is so goddamn late, guys. I'm sorry. Um, I've got some announcements to make if you want to follow me over to the table here. Lots of cool stuff is coming up. Come on, let's do it. Hey, guys. Now that we're finally... Resuited, I can get into some upcoming announcements. A lot of stuff is going to be happening here in the next few weeks regarding the channel. Um, so let's just try to tackle it uh, one thing at a time here. Item number one Magfest. I'm gonna be there! February 18th from the 21st in National Harbor, Maryland, near DC. I will be at Magfest. Um, I don't have like any special booth or panel or anything like that, but I'll be there, um, just hanging out. This is actually my first con. I have no idea what I'm doing, but if you're at MAGFest any of those days and you want to just swing over and say hey, if you're a fan of the show, definitely feel free. I'll be walking around, checking it out, having fun. Like I said, this is my first con ever, not even just as a performer, but just ever, so... I don't know what I'm getting myself into. I plan on taking the camera and shooting a few things here and there, so... We'll see what comes of that. It should be fun. If you're at MAGFest, definitely feel free to say hi. Item number two... PUNK ROCK KARAOKE! Yes, Punk Rock Karaoke is back at the High Five. February 13th at 8 p.m. If you're in or around the Indianapolis area then, and want to come down for some of the best goddamn fun you'll ever have at a live show, definitely swing by. I'll be there filming. And I might get on stage once or twice to sing a song. I don't know, we'll see how the night goes. But seriously guys, this is an extremely fun show that I'm happy to be a small part of, and 
if you really, really want to just have the best time at karaoke you could possibly imagine, seriously, come to the Hi-Fi on the 13th. I'll leave a link to the Facebook event page in the description to this video. Uh, that way you can get, you know, a set list, any news updates, anything like that. But guys, if you're in the area, you should totally come. It's an absolutely kick-ass show. And item number three... I'm working on a new full episode. Actually, I don't really have to keep you guys in suspense for this one or anything. It's gonna be on Bad Religions Into the Unknown. So, uh, I started working on that. I've started scripting the next full episode. Again, forgive me if that's taken way too long to get around to, but I've just had lots of other stuff going on, guys. I don't know. What can I tell you? My goal is to actually have this done before MacFest. I don't know if I'm actually gonna hit that goal, but goddammit, we're certainly gonna try. I wanna give you guys something before I start all my MagFest coverage and, you know, everything else kinda gets into full swing, so... I wanted to give you guys something else in the full slate. So I've started working on that. I've wanted to do this episode for years now, so... Hopefully you'll be seeing that fairly soon, and of course, uh, more quickies are on the way. I'm planning on releasing a quickie on uh, the new Megadeth very soon. A new Critical Condition is coming out very, very soon, if it hasn't already come out by the time this video's uploaded. Um, that'll be on Dream Theater's new album. And if I can, I'll even try to fit in, like, a... an I Love This Song, or Bad Album Covers. We'll try to fit that in, too, but... I don't know, it just depends on how my schedule looks, how my assignments keep coming in, and we'll figure it out. But guys, more stuff is coming. And that's it. We shouldn't have anything else to talk about. Yes, we do. Nope. Nothing at all. Yes, we do. Nothing whatsoever. Yes, we do. Nada, zip, zilch, nunca, nothing. Our affairs are concluded, and there's nothing else we need to discuss. No, no, Everything no. is wrapped up in a nice, neat, tidy little package. You we are completely me, done. Baby. Absolutely nothing else to discuss. I yeah. sure as hell can't think of anything. Oh, all right, but this is going to be quick. So, yeah, I guess everybody knows by now. There's a new Weezer album coming out, April 1st. The White Album, specifically. Okay, first thing I'm gonna say, there's only one White Album, and Weezer, as much as I love ya, you guys didn't write it. And I've gotten a flood of questions. Are you gonna review the new single? Are you gonna review the album when it comes out? Is there gonna be a new Rise and Fall of Weezer episode because of this? Um, so let me answer a lot of those questions for you. Are there gonna be single reviews as those develop and come out? No. There won't be. Guys, I'm sorry. Now that we know a new album is coming out, I'd much rather just review the whole album as one big piece like I do with every single one of my reviews. So, yeah, as far as the review goes, that's not coming out till we get the album. I'll try to get my hands on a promo copy if I can, but yeah, I don't know if that's doable necessarily, so I promise when the Weezer album comes out, I'll do my best to get a review on it. <clears throat> Which really kicks me in the nuts because Baby Metal's new album comes out the same goddamn day. What the hell am I gonna do about this? Following point, will this new Weezer review be an episode in the Rise and Fall of Weezer series? No, probably not, guys. Again, just... Rise and Fall of Weezer is done. Seriously, it's concluded. We wrapped that up. And in fact, it couldn't have been wrapped up any better, personally. I mean, I don't know. There is no more rise or fall. Weezer have kind of gained their footing again. So, there's not really a need to. I mean, besides, that arc, clo that story arc, closed, couldn't have possibly closed itself off any better. So, 
I don't know, there's really no need to, you know, drag out the shovel for, you know, any beatings or any praisings or... I don't know, guys. Again, that's also hard to tell because we don't have the album yet, so... I don't know if it deserves that kind of treatment. To be honest, guys, my plans for right now are to just cover the album in a quickie like I would any other recent release. I mean, really, it's only fair. I mean, I'm not 100% dead set on that idea. I'll listen to the album and see what we have. If it is catastrophically bad or just mind splugingly good, then maybe I will do a full episode on it? It just depends on whether it's justified. If I need a full episode to get all my points out about that album. Otherwise... Well, aren't we just kind of jerking off? I know that's kind of the whole point of this channel, but come on. I'm a jerk off and even I have my limits. But yeah, my current plans are just to review the album in a quickie. We'll see, we'll see what happens when we get the full length in our hands, but I, I don't know guys, like I said, I don't think this album's, based on what we've already heard, I don't think this album's really gonna justify it. I mean, this is an album that has songs like Do You Wanna Get High and King of the World on it, but it also has Thank God for Girls, so between you and me, it's looking like it's gonna be a hit or miss kind of deal. I don't know, we'll see. But yeah, that's what we're doing when it comes to Weezer. We're gonna give it a fair shake, we're gonna give it a fair chance, and... Honestly, as long as it isn't the worst goddamn thing in the world, or the best goddamn thing in the world, it'll probably just get a quickie and get equal treatment with everything else. I'm sincerely hoping it gets the quickie treatment. Or the full episode because it's just that goddamn glorious, ah, oh, you know, but, I mean, you know, thank God for girls. Eh. So yeah, that should be everything, guys. Unless you have something else you want to add. Yep, I'm good. Get the fuck out of here. Oi. Um, but yeah, guys, thanks again so much for your support. Thank you for your patience while I was getting this ensemble assembled. Like I said, I'm expecting more stuff for this costume any day now, so I don't know. When it's finally fully complete, I'll post pictures on my social media. Again, I hate to premiere what's essentially a three-quarters finished thing, but when life hands you lemons, you know? Make life take the lemons back! Get mad! Guys, thanks again for everything. Like I mentioned, new quickie coming up soon, new critical condition, may already be out by the time this goes up, or if it isn't out, it will be out very soon. A new full episode, MAGFest coverage, punk rock karaoke, lots of stuff is coming up in February, and lots of stuff is coming up down the pipeline, so thanks again for your support, guys. Hopefully, I'll see you out there. Cheers.